of marijuana. You've made that a, a major part of your campaign platform. What would you do in Washington uh, to fulfill that promise? I don't know if it's major. I, I acknowledged at the time it's not the most important thing going on in America, but it's important if you're being arrested for going to a dispensary in Illinois and buying gummy bears, coming back home and you get arrested. It's important to you then. Senator Young, uh, in our interview uh, just yesterday, said you had made this issue your top priority. <laughs> Do you agree with, you disagree with that assessment? It's not my top priority. My top priority is women's reproductive rights, no doubt about it. My top priority is inflation no doubt about it. But for the people that are arrested for marijuana charges and people that have been charged with a crime, it's important to them. And I don't think it's right that all of our surrounding states sell mar marijuana either recreationally or medicinally, and Hoosiers go to these places every single day. You go to any dispensary right now, 75% of the plates will be from our state. And every time we buy and drive back into the state of Indiana, you become a criminal. I don't agree with that. I think we could do better in Indiana. The state of Illinois made more money taxing cannabis last year than they did ca uh, taxing alcohol. You think it should be legalized federally? And what, what, uh, to what extent would you work to try and achieve that in Congress? If I would do everything I can to help achieve that in Congress because I think it's equitable. And quite frankly, I think Indiana would be the type of state that would do very well with our low tax environment and our agricultural economy. It would give us more options on things to plant in our state. It would give us opportunities in places like Hammond, Gary, Indianapolis on possibly having grow houses, you know, you know, new jobs, new economic development opportunities.